in Arcade, we're going to have a look at enemies and effects, as well as lives and power-ups. Uh, so taking a look at the session here, uh, I've moved my on start block over here on the right, and so you can see it's getting pretty big. Now we've built a sprite for Adabot, our player. We've built a sprite for the battery, which is considered food. And down at the bottom, I've now got a sprite for Sparky. That's the name of the variable I gave it. And I've created this artwork for Sparky, the blue smoke monster. And I've made him of kind enemy. So that has some implications we'll take out in a moment. But the first thing I want to do is get him moving. So I've set Sparky to a particular position in XY space on the screen. And then I've set a, uh, what's called an effect, uh, different from effects, I've set an effect of bounce uh, on wall. So when he hits the wall, he will bounce off of it at an incident angle. And then I have Sparky's velocity set. Now the velocity is the direction and speed with which he's moving, and I've set it so that he basically moves in a diagonal. Uh, now, the other thing I've done here that's important is I've set uh, this on sprite block here on sprite kind of player overlaps another kind of sprite that's the kind enemy, and what happens? Well, first I'm going to zap Adabot out of there, so Adabot sort of seems to bounce off of Sparky, but I'm also going to set an effect. So this block right here says start a spray effect, and it runs for a second, and then I also change the life value by negative one. Uh, so if we have a look at this in action. Now what you can see is Sparky is moving around and oh my gosh he's touched me. So when I get hit by him I spray the effects and when I touch the battery I get a little heart effect and you'll notice my hearts go up in the left corner and when I get hit by Sparky the hearts go down. Now watch what happens when we crash into him more times than we have lives. Game is over and it also tells us our score. So if we uh, take a look at this one other block here. It's on life zero, and then we have game over. So you can tell it's got some very high level commands that allow you to get your game up and running quickly before we have to dive into small details. So that is how you can create an enemy in arcade as well as set up effects.